I like that. You say every pick matters. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, they just got done with the Utah Jazz pick, and I guess we're going to find out together who the Bucks is going to get or if they're going to make like a trade like the last second. So, um, showing what they did getting Russell Westbrook from the Wizards to the Lakers shows how much upset you can get with bit market teams trying to like get everybody and just like why like seriously but yeah um the bucks are on the clock they got like less than two minutes so the first round is now over a lightning round coming on with two minutes between picks and a lot Ooh. of talent still out there some really dynamic guards with Cooper Butler McBride and Dosumu Isaiah Livers a versatile let's see I don't know who they're going to get but it would be interesting to see who where will they go the second round the NBA draft commences when you come back I don't know for what they're saying right now. The best available are mainly like guards. Then they got their, you know, their best available top ten. So, yeah. Let's see if y'all can. Right about now, we could all use a pancake. Or 10. So come into IHOP for pancakes, burgers, burritos, and more. Because you deserve something that makes you smile. This guy knows what's up. Dearest noodle houses and hot pot hot shots. Thank you. As y'all just saw from there, um, I just had to flip the screen. So, um, that's their um, 10 people that the person said that should be like available, like the best available. But um, it says, let's see, bench depth in the backup stretch four, which is kind of true. They, because you know they had Bobby Portis playing the um, sometimes the four, sometimes the um five two, so something different. But it's just like I um, like I said in the um, real Milwaukee Bucks fan group that they need a either a combo guard or they need a center maybe they have a center that can play the four and the five too so that's what they need and somebody that's like nba ready because i know they're going to want to do a back to back with um with the championship oh the pick is in so just waiting for them to get out of the um, commercial and just see what they got. Dogs bring out the good in us. Pedigree brings out the good in them. All these commercials. <laughs> That's funny. You've got nothing. And now give you the future. No, I don't. Maybe the future's over here. Here we go. That's why Spectrum Mobile delivers the most reliable service and nationwide 5G. So you're covered. Spectrum my ass. Go to shipstation.com slash try and get two months free. You need an Ecolab scientific claim here. Jesus, more and commercials. Thought they would be, you know, be on there by now, but... This is why they waste like too much time because these commercials, they could have got, you know, this draft done within like an hour. Well, especially the second round. Here we go.
I guess they're about to announce it now. Sit down. We're not ready to drop the mic just yet. Welcome to the second round of the NBA Draft 2021, presented by State Farm. Two minutes between picks here for the first time tonight. We will hear from the NBA champion, Milwaukee Bucks, who had the first pick in the second round. Here's Deputy Commissioner Mark Taylor. Here we go. Hello, everyone. It's so good to be back in my hometown of Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for the second round of the draft as we continue to welcome these young men into the NBA family. With the 31st pick in the 2021 NBA draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Isaiah Todd from Baltimore, Maryland, A and the NBA G League Ignite. Been a strong night for G League Ignite as Isaiah Six, Todd. 16 forward. Yeah, he can step out and, and stretch the floor. I mean, that's his NBA I skills. guess what they got is stretch four. Very fluid, really good balance. And, you know, he was once the number one player in his high school class. Maybe came a little bit too quickly, but he did a great job of, you know, bouncing back during his G League Ignite season. I think he's got a little bit of Kyle Kuzma in his Wait, a Pose trade to the Pacers? I don't they made anything. Uh, you might have seen through the graphic on that last pick that the Bucks just made if the post trade would send him to Indiana. So now the Bucks uh, have made the pick on its way to Indiana, but boy, what a remarkable season, what a playoff run, and what a championship. First time in a half century for the Bucks. Now Booker throws it up for eight. I don't know, but y'all give me a minute. Let me finish, like, looking at this. Then I'm going to try to look up, like, whether it's the trade. Stay in Milwaukee. They built around him the celebration. Absolutely chaos and joy and celebration. The Milwaukee championship that he brought back there. And by the way, you know, I... I love you. He got the 50 points, and he went in the line to a certain restaurant, ordered exactly 50 chicken nuggets, not 49, not 51. Exactly, he celebrated being able to eat corn dogs. I mean, he, he's just a dynamic, charismatic guy, and he led them to the championship. An incredible story, and you know, ESPN's Jonathan Cavalier was really oh, okay. on the ground floor. Was one in of the first people pick. to ever interview. Wow, so right about him, and I, I guess we're gonna have a while. But what we're going to do on when we get close to that, we're going to come back here and and do that. So we're going to see what they're going to get for the 54th pick and the 60th pick. So we'll see.